Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushua, Hashem, Rakhadash. This is the name of the Heavenly Father, the name is only begotten Son, and the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus Christ. We want to give double honors to the elders, the apostles, our teachers of the Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, the top, and continue to teach us this truth. Peace, love, and salutations to the Bayak that were out of David, that's currently being risen up in these last days. All right, so it's the portion of the GMS Boston camp once again on, on another Tuesday night. And Lord willing, out of our desire, you know, this is edifying. And, and, and this is our job, right, as, as watchmen, as um, teachers, you know, as, as priests, um, handling the work of the Heavenly Father. It, it's an important task. And it's something that you got to pray that the Heavenly Father um, keeps you in his thing. You know, King David was always praying when we read the book of Psalms that the Heavenly Father will keep his Holy Spirit on you guide you and teach you to, to handle it right. The scriptures say, cursed be the man that doeth the work of the Heavenly Father deceitfully. A matter of fact, somebody give me uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 48, verse 10, real quick. I got it. Jeremiah so, 48, yep. verse 10. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully, yeah. and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. Right, so also our Lord said this, there were many that would say, uh, Lord, Lord, have we not uh, prophesied and cast out devils in thy name? And he's going to say, Depart from me, ye workers of, of iniquity, for I have not known you. Um, just meditating on that this week, talking to the brother in camp last week. Like, what will really make the Lord say that to you, man? And it's pursuant to the book of Jeremiah, um, doing the work of the Heavenly Father deceitfully, man. Having your own um, um, agenda. Um, uh, agenda, all right? Yeah. Having your vain opinion, trying to come into this thing seeking uh, glory. And ultimately, if you want to seek glory or you want to abase yourself, what you would do is you would. Humble yourself down, like the scriptures say, because when you humble yourself down in due time, the heavenly father is gonna abase you. But if you abase, exalt you. But if you abase yourself, uh, if you if you exalt yourself, man, the only thing the heavenly father could do is just uh, bring you down, right? So when you come into this thing of ours, man, it's first is is coming with a, a contrite heart, a heart of humility, of knowing, you know, the law and and, and what your what's what's the standard and how you miss that mark, man. And missing that mark is supposed to put a spirit on you of a, a, a feeling of unworthy, you know? Uh, understanding that our righteousness is as filthy rags and that this is mercy, it's a blessing that the Heavenly Father is even uh, putting his words in our mouth to us be, be able to teach it. That's what you want to start from. Go ahead, brother. Second Corinthians 12 and 9. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, would I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of the anointed may rest upon me. Now, Paul was, uh, was trying to pray to the Heavenly Father to get this thorn out of his side. And Heavenly Father told him, look, my grace is, is good enough for you. But Paul said if he was going to boast in anything, he was going to boast in his infirmities, his sufferings, primarily for what he did um, concerning the church uh, by, by doing the work, man. So if you're going to boast in anything, right. um, um, take so-called pride in uh, 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 the, the, the sincerity in the work that you go through, the things you go through because concerning the truth, but not because you want to take um, um, pride in yourself or you want to be somebody. This thing of ours is not a thing to come in if you want to be somebody. So you're part of a, a bigger picture here, right? You're just a piece to a body. You may be a toe, you may be a lip, you may be a mouth, but there's a bigger picture that the Heavenly Father is doing here and building up the elect and building up the spiritual temple that it, it just, it's going to be no hero to this thing, right? Every man is going to be doing their own thing. Give me Titus real quick. Can, can, can I add this? Yeah, brother? Brother. I will say that uh, uh, credit, you know, is more valuable when when people notice it or, or when people actually give you the credit as opposed to you finding or, or you uh, 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 taking credit of your own. You know, that there's more power in, in, in other people you know, pointing out the good works that you're doing instead of you yourself trying to basically uh, 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 put your feet where the shoe don't fit. Exactly. Okay, you can't put your feet, you know, in a big, in a, in a smaller shoe, man. You know, you got to put the feet where the shoe that was given to you, man. And that that takes patience, you know, that takes time. But let me, can I finish before you? Can I say this, bro? Mm -hmm. This is why we give all praises and glory and honor mm -hmm. onto your how about Shimon Shai. That's why we always say first and foremost, because it's not of us, man. You know, like the Lord said, I have chosen you, and you have chosen me. Right. And what he said, he said, this, uh, he said, this is the gift I give unto you. And he said, I give you the gifts of faith. He says that that, um, that not anyone shall boast of himself. 
to know that this is not none of us. This is through Yahweh Hashim Shah and him sacrificing his son so we can have this adoption. Right, right. So you know we gotta take this with, with the uh with, with, with sincerity and appreciate and be grateful for it, man. Right. You know, the, men, the men before us always praise and gave thanks to Yahweh Hashim Shah and everything that they did from small matters to big matters. Yeah. Yeah. And we gotta give back to that likewise, man. Right. Um, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, 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 because this is a lot of good stuff concerning what we're talking about. It says, For though I will desire to glory, I shall not be a fool, for I will say the truth. But now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me, and lest I shall be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations. There was given to me a thorn in the flesh. The messenger of Satan to buffet me, yeah, yeah. lest I should be exalted above measure. And that's everybody. Everybody's been given it. Well, rebuke is one form of it, man. The scriptures say, um, "Wisdom um, puff it up, no, right?" No, no, so no, 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 Give me that real quick. Um, that's um, and first, first Corinthians first chapter eight, eight verse one. one. That's for everybody, man. When you look at the great men of the Lord, there was always uh, a, what you would call a flaw that they may have. So you had Moses. And as great as Moses was, um, he didn't get a chance to see the promised land because he didn't give credit to the strike in the rock. You had um, mm -hmm. Paul, you know, at one point in time, he, he, he prosecuted the church. You had Peter, which was uh, the head apostle. You know, he denied, uh, he, he denied Yahweh's side three times. You know what I'm saying? So it's always little things that, of these great men, of certain things that they've done because why? It's the heavenly father, uh, um, Job. You know, Job was a perfect man, but in his perfection, he was imperfect because exactly. he can't be perfect. Exactly. You see how the Heavenly Father is? So in, in every man, man, he'll, he'll give something in your life a to balance. A balance you. You gotta that's be balanced, balance. man. You have to be balanced. And that's the quality of a leader. The quality of a leader is, you got, is understanding balance. Man. Understanding that, you know, you can't be too much of certain things, and you also can't be too much of the right. other. Because you could be, it's a thin line between being a tyrant and yeah. being uh, uh, orderly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So you don't want to be a tyrant on brothers, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you, a leader's going to demand that respect that right. when you get talked to, you know that, you know, hey, man, it's time to, to, to sh yeah. shape up and ship up. Yeah, I got it. Um, Go ahead. First Corinthians 8 and 1. Now as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifies. Oh, we ain't going into being over-righteous as well, too, man. Oh, oh, you know, that's such a thing, because you know, back in the day, that's what they were doing. They were uh, everything that you you go get some food and it'll be offered up to some goddamn saint. So what the what did he say, man? Paul said, "Look, man, just eat the shit. Eat it. Right. You know what I mean? Don't ask, don't tell. Just eat it. You know, you know that. You, you know the Lord knows your heart, and not in a Christian like mindset. So that's what they were dealing with. Look, as if things offered to idol, but people know that when they get this knowledge, they start thinking that they high and they mighty right. and they are holier than now. You know what I'm saying? And and yo, that knowledge of wisdom of it up, man." When you right. when you get in this truth, you know you know more than what the average person do. So when you go out and you teaching, it's not about you. We ain't going out there to cut people. Mm. It, it may happen, you know. We ain't going out there to condemn people to scorn. Guess what? It may happen. The main thing that we're doing is edifying and teaching about Yahweh Shai. What the Paul been in, and that's been into the marriage. Paul said, I, "Look, man, I don't, I'm not worried about that because they were saying, oh, this person's of a Paul. This person's of a Paul.' You right, right. look. Paul said, "Look, I didn't die for you." I came concerning Yahweh Shai and the, and the death and the resurrection and, and the sacrifice that he gave so that we may get back to the Father so that this promise that was given to Abraham could come into play. Not because of the law, but just because this is how the Heavenly Father played it out, man. Hey, and we, well, another point is that we, we're also working for our salvation. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you shouldn't be working for, for glory. You should be working for your salvation, meaning that you're going to put aside everything that has to do with yourself and you're going to do exactly as it was instructed you to do which is to teach the truth. And that should be your main focus, okay? Not not no, uh, 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 you know, I, I, I'm going to finally master this yeah. so that I could just wield this sword and, and, and be uh, uh, cutting reckless, everybody yeah. and be reckless with it, man. Because, you know, if you don't handle a sword correctly, you can cut yourself yeah. too, man. It's a double-edged sword. A yeah. double-edged sword. You, you will cut yourself, man. You will bug yourself out. And, and next thing you know, you're, you're doing videos on on, on turtles, uh, yeah. snapping turtles. But too much wisdom. You had right. the guy. You had the one guy that was in GMS. He said, yeah. "Oh, I figured out the brain of yeah. of, of the Most High." 
That's it was that, too much that, wisdom. That's yeah. Mad, you had too. You was too smart for your own good, man. Yeah. 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 Bring yourself. Yeah, but this is uh, Ecclesiastes seven and sixteen. It says, "Be not righteous over much, yeah. neither right. make thyself over wise." Well, look what it's going to say, though. Yeah. Why shouldest thou destroy? Why are you going to put that? Bur- why you put that burden on yourself, man? Yeah. When the heavenly Father knows who you are, all you yeah. are is a person that heavenly Father blessing. created that wants to do His will. That's right. You ain't gonna be nobody other than what you what you are, what you was made to do. Paul said, the things that I do, I don't even want to do them things, man. Yeah. And the things that I don't want to do, I, I do. Right. What was he saying? He was talking about that, that battle that you have between, between your flesh. spirit and your flesh, man. Right, Half the stuff we don't want to do, but we do it because what? We're in this wicked-ass flesh. Yeah. That's why we pray to the Heavenly Father for deliverance. Part of salvation is praying to get out of these chambers of darkness, as the scriptures say, man. Mm-hmm. That's right. You know, our spirit is ready to keep every law, man, to the T. Yeah. No beef. You know, the the, is that the script, what it say? The, the spirit, spirit is willing, willing but, the but the flesh is weak. weak. Yeah. 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 I mean, I took right. When you read the book of Job, right? Job was uh, righteous. And the Lord asked, can a man be, uh, be uh, more, more righteous than God? You know what I'm saying? So the Lord tested Job because yeah. of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? So it, these, uh, these things I was reading the four times it just was written for already. So right. if the Lord, <laughs> Jack of Job, for being like over righteous, like Job was shut up and do everything. It, it wasn't even he just. It wasn't necessarily being <laughs> over righteous, but just being righteous. Righteous, you know? righteous. I'm saying so. The Lord punished him. So hey, the Lord was is going to go to himself, man. The Lord don't want like we can strive for righteousness, but ultimately it's ended up to mercy, man. Mercy, right. uh, mercy is what's gonna get us uh, right. from this captivity. Sure. And that's why we're gonna glorify Yahweh, Yahweh, because sure. yeah. the, the bar was set here and we came so low behind that's the bar, right. and this is where mercy comes into mercy, play. What's right. mercy? What is the uh, these be they that were justified? How are we ju- why are we justified? We justified because we didn't deserve to make it here, and this yeah. is the reason why we're gonna glorify Yahweh Adar that much more. Right, and when you understand, and mm-hmm. when you understand that, uh, you know, you go out there with the with a different mindset, and you have a slight bit of compassion, humility, humility and compassion, man, because you understand that you that you are just you were a piece of shit mm-hmm. before you got this. Right. This is the, when you get this this thing of ours. This is not something to, uh, 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 yes, it may be sweet at first, yeah. but this ain't something to be uh, all laughing and enjoy. This is, the scriptures say, carry your cross, man. This truth is a burden, man. Carry your cross. This truth is a burden, man. Yeah. And if and if it feels uh, uh, otherwise, then, then, yeah, then, 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 yeah, you, you're not in the right, you're not in the right uh, 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 positions. Yeah. Right? That's what you say, man. Yeah. 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 Uh, this is Romans uh, 3 and 23 through 26. It says, for all have sinned and came short of the glory of Yahweh being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Hamashiach Yahweh that word justified look at that word look up the word justified also um, redemption yeah uh, the word redemption it says um, the action of saving and being saved from sin error or evil and in verse 2 it says uh, um, definition 2 it says the action of regaining or gaining possession of something in exchange for payment or, or, or a clearing of a debt. And who cleared the debt, man? Right. Yahweh Shai right. cleared the debt. Right. Oh, like, 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 like as sin came into the world through one man, which was Adam, yeah. he that has ears to hear, let him hear. That same man, um, um, death came into the world, but what? Salvation is going to come by that sacrifice that Yahweh Shai made. Go ahead. Right. Uh, verse 25, it says, Whom Yahweh had set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remissions of sins that are passed through the forbearance of Yahweh. So now the righteousness is what? The faith in Yahweh Shai. Because Abraham was accounted righteous as what? Because of his faith. Not because of the law, because Abraham was on the scene way before the law. When we're dealing with Melchizedek, um, he who paid tithes to him. Right? Because why? And that was before he was a what? He was a high priest. That was way before uh, uh Levi the Levi was even born, man. So it, this 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 order. That we're talking about, it's an old order, man. Yeah. All right, this promise is, wasn't given to us because of the law. So you get to talking about, oh, we got, we got a lot of camps that push that, that we're going to be, oh, keep the law, keep the law, keep the yeah. law. You're going to receive salvation through the law. That's a lie. Yeah, that's a lie. That's not true. That's, that's mad. The law condemns us, man. That's right. yeah. But as Paul said, what? Did we make void the law through faith? God forbid. How can we? Why would you? We establish the law. Why would you want to be a murderer? Why would you want to steal from your brother? Why would you want to lie to your brother? Yeah. If, if, if you believe in your Yahweh side, if you have faith in your Yahweh side, naturally you're not going to do those things. That's, right. That's why I said in the book of Romans, um, the 8th chapter, it tells you that. If, but if you live in your Yahweh side, if you live after the flesh, 
Yeah, you did. I got a sense of real quick. It just goes right with it. Uh, Galatians 3 and 11. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of the Most High, it is evident. Yeah. For the just shall live by faith, right. and the law is yes. not of faith, but the but the the man that doeth them shall live in them. The anointed hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. That's basically what we're talking about. <laughs> that was a beautiful scripture for it. Exactly what we're talking about. Exactly. Man. It just, <laughs> oh, man. The anointed hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, mm -hmm. being made a curse for us. And then and, and you say that to somebody, look, the law was a curse, and they get all bugged the hell out, yeah. man. Because, and what did, what did, uh, what did the apostle That's say, that like Paul's words were hard to understand? Well, understand they were made that. like that. Yeah. They were made a stumbling block. Uh, Romans, the 11th yeah. chapter. Mm -hmm. um, this word is a stumbling block. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is a stumbling block, man. And you tell them that your house size is stumbling block, they look at you like you're crazy. Yeah. The laws are cursed, they look at you like you're crazy. Because yeah, the they don't, can't understand it, man. They don't understand the scriptures. Why? Because it wasn't meant to be given. It wasn't meant for everybody to receive it. Yeah. The 100% way that everybody, uh, that the Lord wants to receive it to certain men. And this is the reason why, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, they had apostles oh, say, man. we got the 100% truth. And every now and then we have these coffers that are saying, oh, no man has 100% truth. Nobody. But wait a minute. The Lord said he was going to give it to us. That's right. He's not gonna, he said, I'm going to give you the truth. He never said, he never talked about the half truth or a, a portion of the truth. Yeah. I, got, I got one real quick. Yeah, let him finish that. Yeah, there's so much meaning that we, we, we got the time. So um, it says that the, uh, the anointed have redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us. For it is written, curses everyone that hangeth on a tree. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through the anointed Yahweh Shai. To the ones that fell out. Because mm -hmm. mind you, prior to the death of Yahweh Shai, um, the law was what? It was black and white. Mm -hmm. It was written in stone. Yeah. I mean, there was no such thing as mercy. Mm -hmm. There was no such thing as yeah. mercy. You committed adultery. Yeah, yeah, you was out of there, man. You was out of there. Right? So the, to the Gentiles, the ones that made a covenant with the heathens, mm -hmm. uh, going back to uh, the Grecians, or the ones that was in the that that spores and whatnot that was living amongst the heathens, you know, and they mind went through. You know, we can't go back over there. We can't go back to Israel. You know, we got shaved faces. We don't we don't get, get committed all kind of abominations. But what what happened? Uh, the sacrifice of Yahweh side opened the door for those people to come back in, to get back in and get get back into this thing, uh, uh, this thing of ours, man. And and, 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 and and it's no different from this lifestyle to, to this day. That's right. Nobody could condemn us for right. what we did in the past. Oh, you, oh, nigga, you were smoking weed or you was committing adultery. Because of Yahweh Shai, we now have an opportunity to be washed from our sins, to be washed. But how are we going to get washed? By the word, man. Right. The word is the cleansing, that fire. And that's how we're going to get washed. And we're going to leave those things off. And we become a new man. Uh, you got the word justify? Yeah. Yeah, I had it. I had it. Read, that, read that word justify. Yeah. Let, let me just get this real quick. Jump in, jump right in. To that. And this is in Romans chapter 8, verse 33. Yeah. It says, Who shall lay anything, anything to the charge of the, of the Most High's elect? It is the Most High that justifies. Yep, yeah. it's the Most High that justifies. Right. So who shall lay anything? Mm -hmm. And Esau going to try to accuse us, right? Mm -hmm. But. What, what's the definition of justify? Right, because we go off every day. And so okay. yeah, we go off every day. So so read justification. Uh, justify, justify, right? Yep. Show or proof to be right or reasonable. It says uh declare of make righteous in the sight of God. To in the sight of God. Yes, yeah, to make righteous. Yeah, yeah. But, but we but we is that a contradiction? Because the scripture clearly says that uh our righteousness as filthy yeah, rags. Yeah. That um that 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 um uh, which was the scripture that you just brought up, brother? Um uh, we all stop you brought it up that we all fall short yeah. of the glory of the most high. Yeah. So something has to something gotta be done. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. It says uh, to uh, to administer justice to show something to be just or right. Yes, yeah, okay. so to be just or right. Yeah. Right? So 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 when you come into this thing, if it, it's a it's a whoa, you know, the water y'all bash me outside every day right. for ha cause what's the difference between us and them? The difference between us and this is to have give me um give me Real quick, brother, give me Romans the eleven chapter real quick. Yeah. Huh? Give me Romans the eleven chapter real quick. Right. Right. Um, it, it, where it says seven. um, the stumbling block. Yeah, that's uh, nine. Yep. Yeah, yeah, seven. Seven. Yeah, yeah, yep. Start. Um, this, this, this is Rome. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is Romans chapter eleven verse seven. Yep. It says, "What then, Israel, have not attained what ye seek for?" It says, "But the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded." Yeah. So when we come out and we teach the way we teach, um, the truth. 
See, it, 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 hopefully this is not a um, stumbling block, right? Because it could be simple, mm-hmm. but it could be so complex, right? So to us, we'd be like, yo, Deuteronomy 28 chapter. You see those curses? That's our people. And to us, it's like, oh, shoot, that is our people. Mm-hmm. But when you could say that to people, and it's as simple as it is, it's like they got the goddamn question mark on their head. It's like they don't mm-hmm. understand what the hell you're saying. They can't receive it. But the difference is the Heavenly Father putting His Spirit on us to be able to receive it, man. So it's a thin line between us and them. And guess what? As we come to this side, the Heavenly Father can easily put us on the other side. And my short years of the truth, I've seen it happen plenty of times, man. People come into the truth, they're on fire, and next thing you know, like the brother said, they're uploading videos of legit snapping turtles, man. You know? Hey, hey, I back your boy. Yeah, but yeah, that's before you say that, because uh-huh. I, I feel like I feel like we, we missed a, a meaning or a meaning of justify. Because if you look at the word justify, what is etymology, it's synonymous with the word excuse. Okay, mm-hmm. and if your excuse of something, that means that you've been doing something, right? right. You've been right. doing something, and then you you've been pardoned, or you've been allowed to, to do that. You you you. Uh, how should I say this? White clean. clean. Right. right. So, well, so, right. well, 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 but, but not just white clean, because um, in scriptures, in the book of Psalms, it says, "Blessed is the man who the heavenly Father imputed um, from sin." Right. Basically, like basically. You going do you know you're gonna get a pass? Hell no, you don't know you're gonna, you're gonna know get a pass. But when it's said, said and done, ultimately that's why why it's gonna happen because you gotta but if you live your life thinking that you're gonna get a pass or you're justified or something, right. yo, you're out of there, bro. Right. Don't forget about it. When you're when you're excused, right, that means that, that you 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 were given a pass not to not to be in that standard. So if you're excused from Basically, going to class. What that mean? That means that you, you have an excuse. You, you have an excuse. Yeah, you have permission. Exactly. And, and, the, and the and the excuse came about because why? Because we we're, were Gentiles and what? And and now the Lord reconciled us back. That's you right. know, we didn't know we didn't know about this. And, and not only that, but we are we are subjected to this flesh. That's right. Okay. Just real quick before we move on. Oh, uh, scriptures say that we were subjected to, to the flesh. To yeah. The flesh. It says uh, 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 the uh, the etymology is uh, justificare, uh, act justly toward make just. Um, now the point the point I'm making is meaning to declare to be innocent or blameless, uh, uh, to afford justification, to make exact, okay, um, to show to be just or right. So if you to show to be just or right, so meaning meaning what meaning that we we, we get up we pretty much you, the elect the elect will have a pass for what they've done. You know what I'm saying? And you don't know if you're part of the elect, man. Yeah, yeah, man, that's what we, we hope for as we right. uh, we try to make our call and yeah, 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 sure yeah, because right. this is where that, that same mercy is gonna come in in that day of the judgment. That's why he says set a mark on them that side and that cry all the bomb that be done there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the ones that's gonna be delivered from the destruction and, and, and that and that fire, you know? Yeah, but right. but right. Uh, this is uh back here before you were you were saying what you were saying. This is uh Sarah thirty nine verse twenty four as his way are plain unto the, unto the holy, mm-hmm. so are they mm-hmm. to be brought with the wicked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's right. So, so, yeah, that's a beautiful precept for yeah. um, what we're talking about, meaning yeah. that it's a thin line between us and them, man. Yeah. And, 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 and it's scary. Yeah. It, should, it should put fear in you. That's right. That's right. That should put fear in you that, that read that from the beginning, brother, brother. That, 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 that today, Deuteronomy 28 chapter is simple, it's easy. Yeah, but the Heavenly Father could okay. snap his finger and, 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 and take that away from you. You had guys, you had uh, ITR, somebody did a show, where are they now? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're on fire, they're out there teaching, yeah. da da. And then slowly but surely, they, 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 they take away the name, they take away the sign, they take away the last one for God. They took away Babylon. 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 Yeah, Babylon but you're not, you in a belly of the beast. As convinced as you are when you read. Revelation is the 18th chapter where it talks about the, the shit makers and the incense and all the stuff. As convinced as you are that this is Babylon, the Mavi Father could take that away from you, man. He could take that away from you, you know? Go ahead, bro. Yeah. It's not because 29 verse 24. As his ways are plain with the holy, so are they stumbling blocks. I'm going to the way they can't get it. Oh, we the evil vision, right? I'm the, I'm the Asiatic black man, brother. What are you talking about? You got our people really yes. believe that they're Egyptians, man. You know, our people believe that our people believe in all kinds of stuff, man. We're African, you know. You know, go ahead, brother. Quick precept here. Listen, Luke chapter uh, two, verse thirty-four. It says, "And Simon blessed them and said unto Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which uh, shall be spoken against." 
you know. So so y'all shy. He, he, he come with <laughs> yeah, hey, yo, he's gonna block me. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, yeah, come, come. This is um, um Luke yeah, chapter two. Yeah, the Lord came to to destroy something, man. The Lord came to confound something, you know. And he came to teach. And he came to save. Mm -hmm. You know? What? Uh huh. It's, uh, in fact, I'm, I'm starting at 30. Yeah, 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 some more yeah, meat yeah. on it. It says, For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and, and his mother marvel of those things which were spoken of him. Yep. And Simon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall. And rising again of many in Israel. Israelites. Not just so you can't just say, oh, the, the rise of Israel and the fall of the Gentiles. Right. He's talking about for the rise and the fall of a bunch of Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. Yahweh is a stumbling block to a lot of you Israelites, mm -hmm. man. Right. And that's through the power of the Heavenly Father. That ain't through the power of man. The scriptures right. say a man's goings are of the Lord. How right. then could a man understand his own way? Mm -hmm. that's right. Jake don't know what they're doing. Proof of that is Yahweh Shai. What was his last? One of his last things he stated was, "Father, have mercy on them, for they not know what they do." Give me that in John real quick. I got some. Uh, yeah, my friends. Yeah, hold on, just real quick. Hold those two books. Real quick. It's John fifteen verse fourteen. Yep. Now his last words was, "Father, forgive them, for they not know what they do." Right. But go ahead, read that. So John fifteen verse fourteen. Yep. Matter of fact, verse 13, bro, go down. Yep. It says, uh, greater, love, greater love had no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Hey, that's a beautiful thing to have friends knowing that these brothers will lay down your life for you, and you likewise will do the same, man. Oh. Ain't no love in that. You ain't gonna find that love in the world, man. You gotta get into these precepts to find that type of love. Mm -hmm. I don't care what gang or uh, what homies or what crew or clique you think that you're in. Them right. niggas ain't gonna die for you, dog. Well, that ain't even gonna send you a kite. Ain't even gonna send you a letter. They want to rat you out. Ain't even gonna be there. Right. This, this, this thing of ours, out of our mouth is ours. You know, we prepared for it. You know, we're prepared to um to go to jail and be faithful for ten days. We're we're we're, we're spiritually preparing ourselves for the guillotine. We're spiritually preparing ourselves for the to even to be homeless. Having a house is a blessing, man. That the, the have, that's a blessing. Understand that. That, uh, that could be you. You could be faced with homelessness, man. Being kicked out, losing your job. Forced vac uh, vaccination. That's a thing that's going to come to reality. That's something you got to deal with. Go ahead, brother. It says, uh, ye are my friends, if you do whatsoever I commend you. Yeah, ye are my friends. Go ahead. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friend for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made it known unto you. So he reveals these things to us, man. What did he reveal to us? Who, who, who America is? Mystery Babylon. What's the mystery? Secret. 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 Se and, and Moab, yeah. you know, incest babies, they stuck together, you know? Huh. That's them. Yeah. Him, who him is? Who are the Cushites? Who are the ancient Babylonians? Everything's been mixed up. He saw mixed it all up. Who are the Israelites? That's a mystery. That's, that's right. a secret. To this day, that's a secret. Chariots. Who Esau is? What's the chariots? The mark of the beast. What's the mark of the beast? Oh, that's the RFID Michael chip. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's a... That's a lot of people. Go ahead, brother. Got a preset to back you up. Uh, Daniel chapter uh, 12, verse 4. I'm going to read down to 8 and 10. Uh, but thou, O Daniel, shut up thy, mm. thy words mm. and seal the book mm. even to the time of the mm. end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Yeah, again, seal the book. What does that mean? The, the Bibles didn't disappear. It's always been here, man. You watch these old slave movies. Jake was in the old back houses uh, dancing with the Holy Ghost, you know? That's right. Fake-ass pastor. The, the Bible was always here, man. Yeah. It was always on earth. It never disappeared. But the understanding... Was sealed up mm -hmm. until a certain time, man. No, no, Go ahead. Yeah, uh, same chapter, Daniel chapter 12, uh, verse 8. And I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O oh, my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. And what time is that? When you go to Revelations, the 11th chapter, it tells you. <laughs> 
What you got, brother? Uh, uh, the back of what that brother said. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait. Also, in that same chapter, it tells you it's going to get to um, wisdom shall be increased. But go ahead. Read oh, no, that. I just read that. Now it's going to be increased. Okay, but go ahead, brother. But verse 10. Many shall be purified yeah. and made white yeah. and tried. Yeah. But the wicked shall yeah. be wickedly. Yeah. And none of the wicked shall understand. For now, but now. The wise shall understand. So now, right? For mm -hmm. now, right? If you know that the wicked ain't going to understand, right? Relax. 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 What you when you say don't throw your pearls at swine, like that's a command, brother. That's a command. If they ain't got he said, you go, you welcome him, and after you welcome them, if they don't accept you, dust your feet. And today, today in the ancient world it was dust people today. I wipe your hands. Wipe your hands. You wipe your blood off your hands. Keep it pushing. Keep it pushing, man. You know, we can't we can't save nobody. Oh, um, we all get what's this nigga cheap people from? We all get saving souls. Nigga, you ain't saving nobody, bro. You can't even save your own your own life, man. It's our job to cast out the net. And guess what was in the net? The parable said the good and the bad. The good and the bad. Only thing we could do is push this word, which is a vibration that's working. You don't see it working? The tornadoes is happening because we keep on bringing out Matthew. Uh, uh, Matthew 24, man. We keep on bringing out Second Ezra to 15 chapter. This edition of this is sedition. This is us speaking out against the uh, greatest, um, 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 uh, 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 the powerfulest empire. nation empire, empire in the world, man. This is sedition. The chariots, you know, uh, Zachary, the we keep talking about the chariots. They keep on appearing. They get closer too. They 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 showing up. Yeah. Hey, yeah. that's the thing. If I may add, that was the lot of a prophet to bring to 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 to, to prophesy against great kingdoms. I'll get it. Many countries. Yeah. Jeremiah twenty eight, twenty eight, twenty eight, twenty eight. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. Who was reading? Uh, uh, back, Go ahead. Go ahead. Back something back here. Uh, this is a uh, Syrac. It is just verse four, verse uh, verse seventeen, verse sixteen. If a man commit himself unto her, which is wisdom, yeah. he shall inherit her, and his uh, generation shall hold her in possession. For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with uh, her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. Yes, that's right. That's right. So just like uh, the Lord says, um, you, you was going to do something like uh, basically how it's a mystery because once you have something precious, you don't just give it to anybody. You know what I'm saying? You try them first, man, before you give it to them. You want to see how it works. You see it. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what the Lord does, man. The Lord a, friend, a friend cannot be known in prosperity. Yeah, yeah. In adversity, that's how you know. What a friend is. Yeah, that's right. I'm preaching. You had something, right? Yeah, well, I had the Jeremiah 28. Just going back to Okay, yeah, read that real quick, and then you could come on to McCoy. Because the point is that... The reason why shit's happening. Right, 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 right. Come on. Jeremiah 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So the sedition, you know, it's the sedition that we, which is a what, uh, basically speaking out against yeah, the uprising. Right. Go ahead. Uh, this is concerning some of them. Hey, if I may add real quick, so like, that's the spirit you have to be in. It's the, the, the spirit of prophecy that the mm -hmm. Lord said oh, through Revelation uh, 19 it's and 10. Testimony. The, testimony yeah. the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. Yeah, right. So, you know, we coming through with, with, with the, the scriptures mm -hmm. and giving you the warning of times uh, that, that, that's coming ahead, man. Yes. It's been prophesying, saying uh, before. Because mm -hmm. the Lord says he's going to put a spirit on us to prophesy, to speak into the ears of the people, that's to right. give warning of who? Mm -hmm. Of him. Because he's visiting now the world that he made, man. Right. Through these prophecy, through these events, through these signs, through these earthquakes, through these uproars, you know? Because mm -hmm. he, he gave him a token, he gave him a sign, like, yo, when you see these things happening, just know that. That um the net the pretty much the world's gonna come to the end and yeah. that and that's also gonna be a sign of what of its coming. Uh -huh. you know? well, go ahead, brother. Uh, go ahead. This is uh, you could go and you could yeah. Psalm sixty nine and twenty two. Mm -hmm. Let their table become a snare before them. Yeah. And What's that the table? The table is the scripture. Mm -hmm. And that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Because it's obvious that this we know that this the the uh the the, the, the truth. And the scriptures is for our healing. That's right. Yeah, the truth from the scriptures is for is for our healing. No, no, y'all move forward. That's why y'all move forward. Go ahead, bro. That which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Mm -hmm. Let their eyes be darkened 
that they see not and make their loins continually to shake. That's right. Pour out that indignation upon them and let thy wrathful anger yeah, hold that's them. That's the prophecy that's going to come to come to pass, man. They said, uh, "Let his blood be upon that's us right. and our children." They got to eat that. Yo, that generation, that this murderous, this little Cardi B period, uh, adulterous little generation, these little wicked as demons, they gotta pay for what they did, man. They gotta pay for what their forefathers did, man. That's right. You know, let them receive their judgment. You know, just let like your brother brought up the scripture, uh, set a cry, set a mark. Start at my sanctuary, man. That's right. So, so, so what we doing is, is, is hoping that we um, escape the the, the, the the judgment, the destruction that's coming here and we be justified. So real quick brothers, yeah. I know your brothers got these things lined up, right? Mm -hmm. But um, I started this out. Let's go to Titus real quick. Let's go to Titus real quick because I, I want to bring this scripture up because I want to, I want to, you know, these, hey man, these demons are going, these demons are going to keep coming stronger. They ain't going to stop. Like, they really just getting warmed up, man. And if we, um, be idle, if we get caught lacking, and get caught slipping, you know, we, 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 none of us are exempt, man. None of us, none of us are exempt. You know, this thing of ours is highly spiritual. It's highly spiritual, highly spiritual. And if you claim to be front lines uh, on, on, in this uh, spiritual uh, battle, you better be ready, dog. You be, it's, quite frankly, you better be ready. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is Titus 1, I'm start at verse 4. It says, To Titus, my own son, after the common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from Yahweh, the Father, and the Lord, Yahweh Shahamashiach, our Savior. For this cause I left thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting, and ordain elders in every city as I had appointed thee. Heavenly Father did that already. Heavenly Father set up um, camp leaders in every state, regional leaders, all right? You know, um, 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 captains, right? And so there's, there's, there's an order to the, to what the heavenly father does. Right. Moses died. He was the, he was the head in command. Who, who he came back to put on to Joshua? He said, look, I, I, I'm going to deal. The most, high, I'm a, the most high told him, I'm going to deal with you like I dealt with him. So it always was an order to everything that the most high. When you look at the, the way the universe is set up, man, yeah. it's set up through order, right? Uh -huh. and, and, a, the, and the major problem with our people is what? It's always order. Yeah, they never want to follow somebody that's 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 just follow orders, mm -hmm. right? But but hey man, through the spirit, it, it's, it's got to come back, right? Because you ain't gonna be in the house of David, you know, doing what the hell you want to do, man. First, uh, first, first Corinthians, uh, fourteen chapter. Yes, and talks about uh, 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 let let all things be done unto Jesus. Yep. All right. Go back. Um, this is verse six. It says. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife having faithful children not a, not a cur accused of right, right or unruly. Uh -huh. For a bishop must be blameless as the steward of Yahweh. Now, Elder Adama always tells us, always tells us to be found blameless, right. innocent. Yahweh Shai perished, oh, he got perished, fuck it. Yahweh Shai was sacrificed, but he died innocently, man. Yeah, right. You know? Be found innocent. It's a claim, cliche, what would Christ do, but. When you by yourself, you got to ask yourself these questions, you know? That's right. And then you need to consider the order. Because we, when you by yourself, you don't represent just yourself. You represent you represent the person in front of you. You represent your camp leader. You represent the apostles. Because you know that they represent your outside. It's not a thing of men. See, um, 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 you got these scoffers that say it's about a thing of men. But it's just a thing of order. Because I'm going to follow Adam because I know that he follows the elders. I'm going to follow the, he follows the apostles because they follow your outside. You know, it's not blindly, it's doing your research. That's right. Go ahead. It says, not self will, not not soon as it, not soon angry, not given to wise, no striker, no striker, not even to uh, filthy lucre. So the scriptures say, um, be angry but sin not. So it's a balance of anger. Picture right. that. Be angry, but why would you say that? You know, because he he's not, the Lord's not dumb. He knows that we down here in this witch call it. But look, control your anger, bro. Yeah. Control everything. Control every emotion. They be like, oh, you you hear you hear you hear somebody be like, oh, don't be emotional. What does that mean? Are we telling you to take out your emotions and to throw them away? Hell no. You can't do that. Jealousy is a natural feeling that you're gonna feel. Whether it's with your woman, a girl you like, it's a natural feeling. But what are you to do? You're to use your jealousy correctly, man. Anger is a natural feeling that you feel. 
um, being mad, being happy, being sad, all those things are natural feelings that you feel, but the scriptures say that's a time and a place for everything. So what are you angry at? What are you jealous of? Because you could be jealous of something that ain't children. What's that? That's covetousness, man. So just say jealousy is a rage of me. Jealousy could be a good thing. The Lord is a jealous power, man. That's what scripture says, love the good and hate the evil. Yep. Showing you that hate it can also be known as a good thing, man. It's That's right. Again, going back to balance, man. That's right. In proper order. That's Everything right. is done in proper order. In decency, decency, decency in order. Right. So your emotions are to be controlled. Oh, don't be emotional. What do you mean? Of course we all got emotions, man. What are you mad about, though? Go ahead. It says, uh, verse 8. But a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men. Hospitality. Now, when you look up that word, the scriptures say, um, be aware, because there be some that entertain angels mm -hmm. unaware. Mm -hmm. That word entertain goes into hospitality. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got the definition. Okay. This is from the Blue Letter Bible, and it says hospitable, also generous to guests. Yeah, you see that? So, 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 somebody that's coming up, you know, it's a little old, you, to you, in your carnal mind, right? She could just be a little old lady. You know, but guess who? You don't know who that is, man. Right. The Heavenly Father could just send that lady up to. You got that? I got it right here. Oh, go ahead, bro. Okay. Yeah, bring it up real quick. Uh, yeah, Hebrews. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah, bro. Just had it. Yeah. Entertain. Going into oh, hospitality. 13, man. 13, 13 2. And, 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 and that's being warm. Go ahead, bro. Uh, Hebrews. I started at the top. Hebrews 13 and 1. Let brotherly love continue. Mm -hmm. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers. For thereby, some have entertained angels unaware. Yeah. Be hospitable, man. Be well, um, uh, welcoming. Yeah. What does that mean? Welcoming to your house? Yeah, yeah. Welcome a stranger? Nah, man. But you just never know who you're dealing with. Even through the spirit. Yeah, be charitable, right? Because uh, the scripture said, uh, charity cover much of your sins. You know what I'm saying? You have, you have to be, you know, the point to be mercy, you gotta give mercy, man. Yeah, you know, the right. scripture also says, uh, uh, to try the spirit by the spirit. How else are you gonna know that person's face? You gotta be right. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be able to read that person. But first off, you have to be generous to that person. You gotta, uh, what's that? To set the bait, you know what I mean? And then see how that person is dealing. You know? I mean, you deal with accordingly. Right. Or the Lord might send the person just so that you know you you. You can bring something out, you know, but it's about kind of verification. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, right. So, yeah, right. So, yeah, the Lord might want something to bring out, you know, and, and it just happens to be that the way the way it's going to be brought out is through the dealings of somebody. You have to, that's that's part of being a good teacher. A good teacher is knowing uh, what type of student yeah. you have, what type of uh, individual yeah. you're dealing with, you're teaching. Yeah. Those, Those are life lessons. Those are lessons. Everybody's not advanced. Some people need time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's part of being a teacher, man. Paul said it. Hey, bro. He said, I became all things to all men. That's right. right. So when you went to a barbarian, would you acting civilized? No, nah, man. You had, to, <laughs> you had to play the role, right? Because right. they're going to look at you, they're gonna look at you like, oh, you oh, you think you're better. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And that's, you, don't, you wouldn't want that because yeah. you're basically like uh, you're throwing them to the side, man. Yeah. But you got to be relatable, man. That's how you that's how you know somebody's yeah. true intention. Yeah, when you're in the world, you just make all it. You know what I'm saying? You don't try to be the perfect guy. You know what I'm saying? You, you just, you just, you just, uh, well, you just have a sin, right? Why is it true, right? Yeah. Clark King, you, you, you be like Clark King. What, what you might, um, mom and brother, what's your cape on? What's your cape on? And you got, and that's, that's, yo, bro, I'm glad you said that because that's a, that's a part of wisdom. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't be in the world acting like a goddamn brute beast. Pounding your chest up, oh, I'm an evil Israelite. Even with your woman. Right. Scripture said you got to deal with them um, as the weaker I'm vessel. Right. You get to tell them, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, you, you, it ain't going to work like that, bro. You got to discern, but that's part of wisdom is to discern in the times that we right. live in, man. Right. You know, you can't just be beating, beating your chest and, you know, go home and beating on your women talking about I'm, <laughs> I'm strong. It's not I'm wise, king. bro. Right. Yeah, I'm a king. Yeah. You, 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 you behind on the ring. Yeah. Nigga, that ain't going to work for you, bro. Yeah. Well, well, leave me. And what, and what, make, what makes a person <laughs> strong, right? Now, a person that's strong is, see, I was watching uh, this this show, right? Uh, Cobra, it's called Cobra Kai. The, the, the sensei is going into teaching the students. Yeah. 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 But he said, one, he said one thing that really stuck, man. Yeah. Going into what we're talking about yeah. is that Somebody, so th there's no honor basically in somebody that pretty much takes down a prey that's limping, you know, yeah, right. as opposed to a person that takes down a, a, a prey that, that's, that's, that's true. Right. right. You basically, you, you, you want to take down or you want to tackle something that is equal to you. Not yeah, yeah, that that you so if you're, if you're undermining somebody, you know, for a weaker vessel and you feel all powerful, you're not yeah, really powerful because there's, 
You don't get no strength for that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You're just a bully. Exactly. That's, that's a fucking bully. That's exactly what you are. You're that's an asshole. He, that's what Esau does, man. Yeah. That's Esau's yeah. move. Right. Your, your woman don't got no wisdom. No yeah. wisdom. Yeah. yeah. She don't got no wisdom, so right. you gotta deal with her accordingly. And, and even the people that even the people that come to to the camp. Yeah. You know, you know, you know that they they're not there. You know, you know that uh, uh, they're, they're maybe their knowledge, yeah, that maybe their knowledge is not up to you, right. to yours. Yeah. But you gotta, yeah. you gotta, you gotta deal accordingly. You yeah. know, that's spiritual too, because the scripture talk about that. It talks about the the, the, the women and, and and how you deal with your women. And then Paul said, I tell you a secret that basically I'm talking about the care of the church. Oh yeah, how is that? I got that. You got that? I got that. Okay, I'll get that in the future. That happened. It came to camp. That was the that dude. Yeah, I got camp. Asked about the future. Right, 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 right. That's the spirit. But but it's the spirit that we just it led into us talking about women. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And and then teaching because what are we doing? Right. Um, the scripture said he the Lord sent them to the highways and he said. Um, bid as many as you can to the but, marriage. But the, the scriptures use the uh, uh, the analogy of woman a lot because a woman is it's a good yeah, representation. Think, right. A woman is a good representation of what of, of, of weakness of of everything. You know what I'm saying? Of, of emotions of of everything. Yeah. It's a good representation. Come so, uh, back here with some First Peter chapter five verse one. The elders wish out amongst you, exhort the wife also the elder in witness. Of the sovereign of the house shy and also partakers of the roy that shall be revealed. Keep the flock of the most high who is among you. Take the, take the flock of the most high. Yeah. And he refers to the, the scriptures. I refer to Israelites as being sheep. sheep. And the sheep always need the what? Shepherd. A shepherd to guide them, man. That's right. Go ahead. Sheep and, and, and they're defenseless, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Keep the flock of the most high who is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint. But willingly, not for the record. Right? Filthy lucre is, is money gotten deceitfully. Yeah. So you got these Israelite skin, they want to sell you a board, or sell you the shirts, you know what I mean? It's all right, what else? Get, get money, whatever, but you know, mixing the two is not good because it, it, the scripture said the love of money is the root of all evil. Right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, trying to make the trying to make merchants. We won't do this. This thing is this thing is free. Yeah. You know? Yeah, how should I say fully received for the kids? Yeah. I'm trying to mention too, like the like Lord told Peter, feed my flock, feed my sheep, feed my sheep. Mm -hmm. And what, what is he doing? He's feeding them with what? His word. So he's already providing everything. All we are only there to do is just uh do, do, do our part. He said it. Yes, the spirit That's said I'll take care of you. I'll take care of the birds, like I got you. But That's just right. most important he said he said if you love, you love me. That's right. And if you love me, you know what to feed the Speech the word, man. That's right. That's right. It says, uh, not for felt the rookery, but of already mine, neither as being lord over the most high heritage, but being example to the flock. Mm -hmm. When the chief shepherd shall appear, he shall receive a crown of glory that fitteth not away. Uh, go down and says, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourself to the elders, yet in all of you be subject one to another, and be grow with full humility. For so God resists the proud, for mm -hmm. Yahweh well, resists the proud, and give it grace to the humble. Right. If you want to be proud, right, the man, the Lord, the Lord got a good sense of humor in humbling people down. He'll do it marvelously. That's right. So He might send you a demon, right, at first that you weren't going to cope with, and guess what? You cope with that one, He's going to send you a stronger demon, yeah. and then somebody else stronger, and then until one day there's going to be somebody that He's going to embarrass you. You know, in front of the camp. And that happened to our elders, and our elders run from them, and they told us all the time, bro. That's right. They told us all the time. You know what I'm saying? The Lord, the Lord, hey, man, the Lord has a way of humbling you down, man. And he will do it. He will do it. This is not a power that you want to mess with. The scriptures say that a fearful thing to fall into the hand of a living power, man. That's right. Come, Humble yourself, therefore, right. under the mighty hand of the Most High, right. that he may exalt you in due time, right. casting all your care upon right. him, for he cared for you. Be sober, mm -hmm. be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a wrong line, walking about, seeking whom he may devour. That was a good piece of that wouldn't tell you. Tell you what you know what I want to do. You want to say this, though? You had that, bro? Yeah, I Just say this, though, because the Lord requires a certain, uh, um, a certain type of attitude, a certain type of characteristics, man, a certain spirit, man, because you can't just come in this thing and do what the hell you want to do, man. Even in the scripture says that, uh, and Matthew that no servant is greater than his master. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai came as a servant. Right. He said, I didn't come for to be ministered, but to minister on to. Right. When you read in Ephesians, he said that what? Mm -hmm. Brothers, get this real quick, brethren. Um, this is Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. Mm -hmm. It says, let this mind be in you, which was also in our Lord Yahweh Shai, 
who being in the form of, 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 of power, thought not robbery to be equal with the most high, but made himself with no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in likeness of men. And being fashioned as man, he humbled himself and being obedient unto death and in even the death of the cross. Um, wherefore, the Lord also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Second in command, man. Mm -hmm. Name it on the donkey. Mm -hmm. They was trying to exalt Yahweh Shai. They was trying to make him the king. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai had to duck mm -hmm. off into the mountains yeah. and flee off. Mm -hmm. So his fame could cool down a little bit. Mm -hmm. He also humbled himself, washed his, 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 his brother's disciples. Yeah, 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 yeah. He fought yeah, yeah, yeah. for an example yeah, right. 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 of How, being lowly. Yeah, of course. Uh, and, man, and, and showing you that this is the way it is. There's no other way to thinking that you, you know this is a competition or you got brother better than brothers. No, yeah. this is it's about leading by example and showing the same leadership and discipline that our Lord Yahushua has shown unto his disciples yeah. and unto us. Hey, that's you know what I'm saying? That's a you know, but this is how we got to be, man. That's why yeah. Scripture said, "What man of person you need to be." Meaning, what conduct, what type of person you gonna be, man? Right. Having this, all this, this, this knowledge, this marvelous light, this truth and wisdom. Are you gonna buy it, or are you still gonna be that nigga in the in, in, in the world, man? You yeah, know. That's right. Hey, this is Ephesians five and one. His brothers are speaking about, you know, they got you, you see these people. They got the signs. What would what would the Mashiach be? All right, now Ephesians five and one. But be ye therefore followers of the Most High as their children. Mm -hmm. And walk in love as a Mashiach also had loved us and had given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice unto Yahweh for a sweet smelling savor. Um, yeah, um, savor. Right? So what brothers is getting into is you know that 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 old saying, what would what would a Mashiach do? You wanna walk, you wanna walk in the same light as the Lord came. The Lord came in a humble spirit. The Lord wasn't all about fame, pride, or nothing. He came in to be a servant. So you want to be that you want to you want, you want the spirit of Yahweh Shai, you want to dwell in that same spirit to be a, a, a servant onto the people, and not not to be you know demanding and and, and you know built, putting yourself at, at a high rank or anything like that. Um, now to jump down to twenty one, Ephesians five and twenty one, it says, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of the Most High. The scriptures say, fear the fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom and knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, verse twenty two. And get into the wives. Wives, submit yourself unto your own husbands as unto the Lord, because that's the order. The order is the, the Most High Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, woman, and children. So you gotta, you gotta uh, work accordingly and, and teach accordingly. All right. So when you when you're doing something, you wanna ask yourself, hey, you know what? what I wanna do according to what is above me is gonna do. What would they do? You know, it's just like the Lord. The Lord came and what the the. In, in the likeness of, of Yahweh. So you want to be in the likeness of the Lord. Um, verse 20, uh, verse 24. Therefore, let's yeah, I'll read 23 again. So the husband is the head of the wife, even as Hamashiach is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Hamashiach, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as a Mashiach has loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So it's all it's all about following the order. Brothers brought it out earlier and said it, it talks about the, um, everything decently and in order, man. And, I, and the Lord set up the order, so everything got to be in, in, according to the Rakhakudash, the Holy Spirit. Everything got to be according to the order, man. So when you're doing things outside the order, you're going on. You're out of order, too. Because you're out of order. I mean, in order, you're out of order. Because what order is what? Our destruction. Yeah, like they said, this, I'll tell you a mystery. Oh, it's 32. 32? Yeah, 32. But that was the mystery that we read. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was a spiritual yeah. mystery. Just yeah. one into everything we were talking about. And it just, mm -hmm. the, the spirit had his bring talk about women. Go ahead, boo. Um, jumping down to verse, jumping up to verse 32. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning her martial in the church. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself. Yeah, yeah. So like, yo, look, I'm, I'm not talking about uh, your wife, but nevertheless, yeah, love your wife, man, and deal with her, deal with her accordingly. accordingly. Mm -hmm. According. So let's go to Titus real quick. Brother, go back to Titus real quick. Yeah. Titus 2 and 
uh, that are considered righteous men in the Bible also have been rebuked and went off, man. So, so, so that to be corrected. Yeah. 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 Solomon, Solomon, yeah. yeah. worshiping yeah. on the power of men. That's right. Yeah. yeah. If I may add to as wise he was, yeah. Yeah. the scripture said, rebuke people all so that all they may fear. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, that's 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 the correction, you know. What I'm saying? Right. Everybody has to learn from from whatever happened. And this is the things you learn when you get into the truth. When you're in the world, those things turn to fights. <laughs> you know what yeah. 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 Oh, it leads to bullshit, man. You know, but like you said, why you hate on me? That bullshit. But when you get into the knowledge, man, you know that it's just part of the territory. Yeah, but that oh, shows. Man. That shows, you know, men they don't want to grow because what it will do. You know, it's a form of growth, man. You, you learn from it, you move on. You people, you people, uh, it's pride that stopped you from wanting to take with you. Hey, sure, sure, Lord sure. said he's going to bring us to the fire, man. What do you think the fire is, man? <laughs> right. You know, what you okay, think the boy. fire is? Yeah, what That's you right. thought the fire is? It was correcting your old wicked ways, That's man. Right. That's right. But, um, um, Titus 1 and 14, not giving heed to Jewish fables yeah. and commandments of men that yeah. turn from the truth. Mm-hmm. Unto the pure, all things are pure. Mm-hmm. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their minds and their conscience is defiled. They profess that they know Yahweh, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. Yeah, disobedient. No, nobody should have to tell you, or oh, a man of wisdom should have to tell you the same thing three damn times. It's just you being goddamn disobedient. That's right, bro. You know, just disobedient, hard headed, man. Stiffness. Stiffness. Go ahead. Uh, this is um, chapter 2, Titus 2 and 1. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, brave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. That's what you try to mold us into, man. Temperate, you know, sound doctrine, not getting too fucking nibbling and dabbling in all different types of knowledge that's going to do nothing but bug your ass up. That's right. You you got people that focus on this dumb shit, but they don't got the basics down, man. Get the basics first, right? Get the basics, and then, then, you know, you want to try to dibble and dabble and all this bullshit, you know? Just be, just go into the kingdom. It's better to go into the kingdom, main, one arm, one eye, you know? Then they're they're going in holes with a bugged out, you know what I mean? Try to be all bugged out, man, you know? It's true for, but it's enough. Don't, don't add no extra extras. shit. Yeah. No, don't add nothing extra, extra to your plate. <laughs> Eat your food. That's yeah. Right. I give you more than you can bear. So just talk about what he did. And Jake, you, you, you had guys like that, man. You guys eating the um the herbs. Oh, this ain't nothing. I've seen it. Oh, this ain't nothing. This ain't nothing. Oh, this ain't nothing. This ain't nothing. Oh, this ain't nothing. And now they're gone. They're gone because it was their mentality, bro. I got I got the definition of temperate. It says of a sound mind, sane in one sense. Curbing one's desires and impulse, self control. Balance. Temperance. Balance. 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 Even, Paul, even Paul tells you to modify your uh, members. Modify the deeds of the thing. You know what I'm Which saying? is to make a, that means to make a shame of them, man. You know, that's that feeling you feel you do something wrong. You feel like, oh, got to because that's modifying the deeds of your body, man. You don't feel right. You don't feel right. But that's being in the spirit, at least, you know? When, you, when you're wrong, you know, that's it on that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, man, so, man, we, we, we pray and hope that that was edifying, and this is our job, our job through the spirit and power y'all watching that guys to um, rebuke, warn, um, edify, um, to teach, you know, feed the, the lambs, to, to entertain uh, strangers, which is hospitality, which, you know, to be patient, you know, to follow orders, to show our brotherly love, you know, and this this is this is this is what we've been called to do. To build to spiritually build this third temple, the tabernacles of David, the house of David, you know, to help um, preach the word, to get it out to the uh, 144,000, 12,000 out of each tribe, you know, and in, in, in hopes of what? The Heavenly Father's will being um, complete and the deliverance and the destruction of Babylon and the deliverance of our people. So with that, we're gonna give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashabash. Double honor to the elders, the apostles. Peace, love, and salutations to the whole family. Let's go next time. Shalom. 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 Shalom.